Okay, take a look at this. This woman asks that guy, Would you like some water? Would you like some water? And he says, Yes. Yes. Is that right or wrong? What do you think? Is that right or wrong? Well, in this lesson, I want to tell you why you should not say yes. But first, you need to subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so yes is correct, but it's unnatural. It's unnatural in most situations in English. That means native English speakers don't really say yes. Like me, I rarely say yes. I rarely use that word. I use other words. Okay, so if you say yes, it's correct, but it's, it's not the most natural thing to say in many situations, okay? So take a look at this. Would you like some water? He should say, sure, thanks. Sure, thanks, right? If I was in this situation, that's what I would say. I would say, sure, thanks, okay? Um, would you like to come over on Friday for a movie? Would you like to come over on Friday for a movie? Come over means come over to my house. Come to my house. Would you like to come to my house for a movie on Friday? Sure. Sure. Right? That means yes. Okay. Do you want to go to KFC for lunch? Do you want to go to KFC for lunch? Sure. Sure. That means yes. Now, if someone is giving you something, then it's nice to say thanks. Sure. Thanks. Would you like some water? Sure, thanks. But in this situation, she's not giving him anything, right? She's just asking him if he wants to go to KFC with her for lunch, okay? In this situation, it means, it means together. Do you want to go to KFC for lunch? That means let's go together, okay? So then he should just say, sure, sure, okay? Now, English is 99% casual. When, when you speak English, you don't need to worry about formal things. You know, very often in English textbooks, they teach you the formal kind of English. But in 99% of normal situations, we just use casual English. Okay, so casual English is so important. That's why, that's why native English speakers rarely say yes. We say other things that are more casual. Now, you can say yes in formal situations, right? Sometimes in life, we do experience formal situations. Or if you're trying to be firm, firm, right? If you're trying to emphasize yes, yes. Okay, so let's look at the formal situations first. Let's say the queen asks you, do you like the weather in Britain? Do you like the weather in Britain? You could say, yes, yes, it's wonderful, okay? So in that situation, I might say yes, yes, because it's a very formal situation, right? It's the queen, you know, it's, it's not a casual situation. So I might say yes in that situation, okay? But if it's your friend asking you, hey, do you like the weather in Britain? Then you could say, yeah, it's not too bad, yeah. It's not too bad, okay? So, yeah, we use the word yeah a lot in casual English, okay? You can write it like this or like this. They're both the same word. Do you like pizza? Yeah, yeah, I do. Are you from Iraq? Yeah, I am, yeah, I am. Are you from Iraq? Yeah, I am, okay? Now, if it's the queen asking you this, are you from Iraq? You could say, yes, I am, yes, okay? So it's just the difference, small difference between yes and yeah. Yeah is more casual, okay? So, like I said, we can use yes in formal situations. Now let's look at an example where we would be firm, okay? If someone asks you, are you telling the truth? Are you telling the truth? You could say, yes, yes. What, do you think I'm a liar? I'm not a liar. Yes, I'm telling the truth. Or you could say, of course, of course. Who, who, who do you think I am? 
I'm not a liar. Of course I'm telling the truth. Okay, so we say this when we're trying to emphasize the word yes. Of course. Okay, do you like pizza? Of course. Who doesn't like pizza? Everybody loves pizza. Okay, um, now let's take a look at some filler words. A filler word is a word like hmm, uh huh, mm hmm, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. We use these these words sometimes when we're talking to people. They just mean like yes, yes. So instead of just saying yes, 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 you can use some some filler words. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know you can use those kind of words. They they sort of mean yes as well, right? Or you can say yup. Yep, that's a, a very common word in English too. I use that a lot when I'm texting people. I say, yep, yep, okay. Um, like a father could ask his son, did you finish your homework? And the son could say, yep, yep, I did, dad. Yep, okay. Um, look at this situation. Do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? Do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? Let's say me and you are going to watch a soccer game. I could ask you, do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? Hit up means go to. Do you want to go to Starbucks? Okay, for a coffee. Do you want to go to? Do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? You could say, you bet. You bet. That means yes. It just means yes. It's a casual way of saying yes. Do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? You bet. You bet. Okay, or you could say this, sounds good. Do you want to hit up Starbucks after the game? Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so we use this when someone has an idea and we want to, we want to show our approval for the idea, right? You could say anything. Do you want to do that? Hey, sounds good, sounds good. I'm saying your idea is good, right? Do you want to go to Starbucks after the game? Sounds good, sounds great, okay? Take a look at this. The wife texts her husband and she says, can you grab some milk on your way home from work? Can you grab some milk? Grab means buy. Can you buy some milk on your way home from work? Okay, and then the husband could say, for sure, for sure, of course, for sure. I'll grab some milk. I'll I'll go to Walmart or I'll go whichever supermarket, whichever grocery store you shop at, and I'll pick up some milk for sure, for sure. Okay, so these words are flexible. There's there's not one word you should use for each situation in English. It's your choice. They they're flexible. You can decide. Um, but I think it's a good idea to to use some other words to expand your vocabulary a little bit. I think you will sound more natural if if you do that, right? If you just have one answer all the time, yes, no, yes, no. That sounds very, um, well, it sounds like you're a beginner English student then. It doesn't sound like you're very advanced or a native English speaker like me. So if you want to be a native English speaker like me, you should practice using some of these words. You bet. Of course. Yeah. Sure. For sure. Okay, so just just play around with them. It's okay if if you're not too confident. Every time you do something new in life, you're never confident, right? You have to, you know, slowly practice, play around a little bit and then and then you'll get more confident using all sorts of different words in English. So I want to ask you, what's your favorite way to say yes? What's your favorite way to say yes in English? Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.